Hi, she was seven. I'm back. So today I'm here to talk to you guys about two things. Okay, so the first subject that I'm going to talk about today, I saw this meme. Someone made a meme or they took a screenshot on Facebook and I thought it would be a good topic. Okay, so this lady, she's married. She has a, a child, probably a teenage child, and she gets offered a job in Atlanta that pays six figures okay now she's married so she asks her husband or tells her husband about the job she asks him oh move with us to Atlanta I got a offer for a six-figure salary job he says no I'm not moving and then on the meme it says my mom will be relocating and moving next week or something like that so basically she was not going to let that man hold her back from pursuing her career in a different state or town or whatever. And uh, a lot of people were going back and forth on this, like men and women were going back and forth, like um, he shouldn't have to move if they're married, you know, um, they should come to a compromise <clears throat> if it was the other way around, you know, um, women and men like if, if a man gets a higher paying job in a different city and state a lot of times the woman will go and follow him and a lot of women were like well unless he's making six figures or more he should not be like telling her not to go to this new job unless he can fully take care of her and give her the lifestyle that that career will provide you know so a lot of people were going back and forth and debating and here's my take on it if you're a man or your husband who you're legally married to tells you you can't pursue your dream or go get a six-figure job a he has to be a millionaire and tell you that you don't have to work and that he will give you six figures B he would have to have a job that brung in seven figures um, which is the same thing as a um, <laughs> Or he would have to divorce you and let you be free to live your dream because if you really love someone you're not going to hold them back from you know being a better person you know fulfilling your dreams earning more money blah 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 blah, blah right women relocate for men all the time okay now he should be happy that she's getting this much money you know what I'm saying that is a good opportunity. Now, y'all know how I feel about being married and working. So this person, this man should be very supportive and packing his stuff, right? And helping her pack, right? But a lot of women feel like he felt intimidated, like she was going to make more money than him, like he didn't have anything, like he was just being dragged along, like, you know, whatever. So, you know, he said he wasn't going. But the woman was like, I'll see you. I'm packing. Bye. I'll see you. Bye why okay let me ask you guys a question to most women who uh if, if most women pulled in six figures or seven figures do you really think that they would care about having you know a husband i'm just curious you know um a lot of them would only want husbands who made more money than them you know what I'm saying so unless that husband could provide a better lifestyle by being with them they really wouldn't want a man you know what I'm saying they might want a companion they might want a play toy but they might not want a husband who's not on their level or equal you know what I mean a lot of women who make a lot of money a lot of them say, I don't even want to be married. I have everything I need. I don't need a man. What I, what do I need a man for? I've already, because a lot of them already have kids. They're educated. They have their salaries, their houses, their nice cars. You know, if they were to get some type of man, it would be probably, you know, a young stud that they could, you know, parade around and have fun with, but they're not trying to get married. Now, a lot of guys do this and call themselves MGT. MGTOW but instead of having the lifestyle they just have the anger part <laughs> um, so 
It's not the same for women. Like women, if they can't find an equal partner or someone who's making more money than them, they would rather stay single because, you know, most women don't see a need for, you know, anybody that's going to bring them down. You know what I'm saying? They don't have it in their nature to want to take care of, protect and provide for someone unless they're a child. You know what I mean? So that's why a lot of women don't, you know, you know, try to get married when they have a lot of money. They're just like, you know, whatever. Take it or leave it. Um, okay, so next subject. We're moving on for this one. And the next subject is your power, ladies. This could be for men too, but you have to take it into context, okay? Your power, okay? This is just life in general. This has nothing to do with relationships, okay? So you can apply this to work, career, relationship, goals anything that you want in life is not going to be given to you just because you deserve it okay let me repeat that just because you de think you deserve something does not mean that it's going to be given to you okay a lot of women come to me a lot of men come to me and say well I did everything right I was a good wife I was a good husband or I did my job right I was to work every day on time but I didn't get the promotion when you want something let me tell you what you got to do take it don't wait for somebody to recognize that you deserve it don't wait for somebody to hand it to you go get it take it you know, if you're up for a promotion and you're against other people, I mean, look at the election. <laughs> they fight dirty, okay? If your leaders fight dirty and you don't, what does that say? I'm not calling Donald Trump a leader, but if political leaders or political candidates play dirty, why can't you? Like, why can't you, you know? Most people who win, and this is sad, but it's true. Does it make it any less true? Most people, most people, majority of people who want something, go and take it. They might not deserve it, mm -mm. but they have it. Why? Because they didn't sit around and wait for it. They didn't sit around waiting for recognition. They saw what they want. They got up and took it. Okay? Why? Because there was nobody there to stop them. There was nobody there getting up to take something. Everybody was there waiting on it to come to them or to be recognized. So, you know, sometimes you lose. A lot of people try to look at relationships, try to look at career, try to look at life as being fair. It's never going to be fair. Okay? Never. So if you're waiting on something, chances are someone's going to snatch it up before you even get recognized. So, like I said, if you want something, go get it. You know, if you want a promotion, go up to your boss. Look, I've been here for five years. I can do everything frontwards and backwards. I want that promotion. Don't say, can I have the promotion? Don't say this or that. Say, I want the promotion. You know, um... Sometimes people are just so impressed with your boldness and knowing what you want in life, they will just like, oh my God, here you go. You know, now if you went up to the same boss and you say, you know, I've been here for five years and this person has been here and this person has been there and they've got promoted and I think I deserve it and I think I, I'm supposed to get a raise, but I, you know, y'all always overlook me and I just feel like I'm not being appreciated. You're going to be like, yeah, you're right. You're not worth it. You're not appreciated. You know, you talk, you're talking down about your own self in front of someone who's supposed to promote you, you know. The chances are that person that walks up and say, look, I've been here five years. I want the promotion. Okay, you don't know what's up their sleeve. You don't know if they don't get that promotion, what they're going to do. <laughs> they might sell all the secrets to the company. They might leak it. You, you don't know. You just know that they mean business and they mean what they say, right? And you can take it as a threat or just boldness. But that mystery and that confidence is going to let you, you know, is, is going to let that boss know that this person is serious about their career. And they're not sitting around waiting on stuff to come to them. They're going to get it. They're go-getters. 
they have that on. Uh, so they're probably going to get that promotion over someone who sits back and waits their turn. Okay, so no. Same thing in a relationship. I always tell this to the women. Ladies, if you want something, tell the man. Straight up front. The worst he can say is no. And your time won't be wasted. Okay? A lot of people will say, well, no, I'm just going to wait and see how things go. How we get along. Uh, if we have, you know, this, 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 and that in common. If we have chemistry, blah, 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 blah. You can have the best chemistry in the world with somebody. You can get to know somebody frontwards and backwards. But if they don't have what you want or are going to give you what you want, then it's still a waste of time. Okay? So that's why you have to go straight up and say, look, this is what I want. A, B, C, and D. Can you do it? Yes or no? Okay, bye. Okay? You can't be afraid to go get what you want, ask for what you want. Okay? You can't. Because if you are, you're you're always going to be waiting for it, okay? The difference between women who wait for stuff that they think they deserve because they're good and follow the rules versus the women who take stuff, demand stuff because they don't care about the rules, which one do you think are happier? Which one do you think have what they need in life and want? Okay? Y'all need to think about this because a lot of times your moral values and how you were raised and what society told you you're supposed to be gets in the way of you living your life that you're supposed to be living, okay? And I'm not I'm not saying this because I'm trying to, you know, change anyone's mind of who they are. But think about it for a second. Think about it. You can't get ahead by sitting down and waiting for things to come to you because you deserve them, okay? People and people who are dying of thirst deserve water. People who are fat, rich, will let their shower run 20 minutes just to warm up, okay? I'm saying this because not people do not get what they deserve in this world, okay? I'm, I'm using it as an example because people don't get what they deserve in the world. And if you're waiting on something because you feel like, I deserve it, it's coming, then you're going to be waiting, okay? You need to get up and go get it. And I'm not saying, oh, get up and be motivational, get up and work towards something every day. That's a given. But if there's something extra that you need and want, don't be afraid to go get it or ask for it or take it, you know? Like you see the last cookie or the last donut in the office and everybody's looking at it. The person that gets up and goes and takes it gets the donut, okay? This, the person over here who's anorexic, you know, they could have went up and got it. The person who, you know, didn't have breakfast this morning, they could have went up and got it. The fat person who knew they wanted it because they loved donuts could have went up and got it. The boss could have went up and got it because they're the boss. But here comes a temp from the office, walked up, took it, and ate it because she took action and took what she wanted. Okay? And nobody looked at her crazy because everybody was thinking the same thing. Oh, you know, who's going to get the last donut? Should I get it? I don't know. Who deserves it? What do you think? Maybe I should let her get it. She's pregnant. I don't know, but I'm real hungry. While y'all are sitting there thinking who deserves the donut, or why you shouldn't get it or why they should get it, somebody else had already claimed it, okay? So, moral of the story is, if there's a, a woman you like, if there's a man you like, if there's a job you want, if there's a promotion you want, don't sit around and wait on it. The worst you can get is rejected. That's it. And then you'll be like, okay, well, I'll try again another time or I'll wait for another opportunity when something pops up and I can go and try to get it. But they'll remember you and they'll say, you know what, that person really knows what they want. you know. And the next time they might just say, you know what, look, this, 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 and that. And do you want this opportunity, you know? Just by knowing what you want and letting people know the kind of person you are, that you're not afraid to ask for things or, you know, take things up to the next level, will show them that you're strong and very determined. And that is the kind of quality people like in partners, in business, on the job. So don't be like, you know... Even if you have to do it in your own flirtatious way as a woman with feminine with femininity, still go and demand what you want. You know, yes, you are entitled because the only person that says that you're entitled is yourself. You determine: Are you worth it? 
do you feel like this is supposed to you know be for you no one determines no one but yourself determines what you're entitled to okay remember that all these guys will say I don't I'm sick of all these self-entitled people well I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry you're sick of us but we know what we want in life sorry all right thank y'all so much and usually self Entitled people always get what they want 99% of the time. All right. I'll see y'all later. Bye